three days and 32 matches in the books. A gourmet menu of amazing rugby served up in the lush heat of Montevideo. Here's the coup de grace. It's showtime and what a start for Ardal. The doctor will see you now. Uruguay's captain and qualified medic smashes the deadlock. 15 seconds into the final. Showtime indeed for Los Terros. And the start of their dreams. Liechtenstein. Oh, his radar's working well. 7 0, 40 seconds on the clock. Fabulous work from the Cubbon in the air. So effective off those shortened kicks. And Ardal snaffles it and clears away from Max Denmark. And if they started the competition slowly, they have begun the final itself with steam pouring from their nostrils. McCubbin's on the prowl again. This one instead taken by Hugo Styles and Lee now feeding it on to big Liam Doherty. South African born unit. Styles, Uruguay up quickly, shutting down the options, not allowing Max Denmark to get into his giant stride. But a chance now perhaps for McCulloch on the wide outside, cutting back in. Liam Herbert up to halfway. Penalty Hong Kong, China. Goes against Ignacio Facciolo. And Styles bangs Hong Kong, China up to the 22. A man who feared he'd never play again. He thought his career would be over in 2022 after suffering nerve damage to a shoulder in a freak training injury, six months out, back in the groove, back on the HSBC Challenger Series, back in finals to boot. Here's Lee, the sixth try man, his pass is wayward. Styles retreating, the flashing yellow boots as he ducks one tackle. Kadu Lee, Christie pulling it back. Big stride from Doherty. But Gonzalez with the pilfer. Uruguay bossing the breakdown skirmishes. And batting around the outside goes Baltita Basso. Great big stallion of a player and he wins the penalty. Liechtenstein taps and goes. Tempo, tempo, tempo. This final being played at a furious, frenetic pace. Ardal sees more opportunities down the short side. Lovely ball over the top to Basso. Uruguay stampeding to a second try in the final. Too hot for Hong Kong, China to handle. Ardal, the architect once again. And profiting is Baltita Basso. Guillermo Liechtenstein slots the conversion, 14 points to nil. From that quick tap, Liechtenstein going back. Ardal, clever, exploiting the short side. Look at this pass. Dishes it up on a silver platter for Big Baltita, who calls in from 20. And that's got the zebras moving and grooving in the stands. Not quite a mountain for Hong Kong China to climb, but a decent sized hill to scale and to get back into this final. And again, Uruguay, kings of the Montevideo skies and Liechtenstein exploring onto the pass. Ardau on the switch and it's gone forwards through the captain's greasy palms. It's a humid night in the Uruguayan capital. Testing conditions. And for once, Ardao's dexterity lacking. Kadu Lee, the man so often, who's provided the impetus for Hong Kong-China in this tournament. 
half a dozen tries to his name. Denmark at first receiver. He's the ballast. He's got five. Fed out by Christie and Styles and McCulloch with the penalty advantage, which will now be activated. A late tackle without the use discernibly of any arms. It's Juan Gonzalez, who's hurt himself in the process. Yeah, just runs into Styles. Not sure he meant to. Didn't pull out of the tackle, and he's done more damage to himself than to his opponents. Jevon Groves, Hong Kong China's coach, watches on anxiously. His team have got a two try deficit to surmount as Denmark is grappled. Uruguay manhandling Hong Kong China. Ignacio Facciolo takes out the trash, and James McCubbin. Oh, there was a knock on in the build up. Hong Kong, China, toiling to build any momentum. The Uruguayans tackling like demons. That just grazed the arm of Mateo Vinales, which denied McCubbin a third. 40 seconds left. The first half of the cup final. Such a precious loop back for Hong Kong China before the hooter sounds. Styles laces it downfield. How's the bounce? It's kind. It's won back by Hong Kong China and by Herbert. Styles chases his own kick. And Lee out for Doherty, who's slaloming, trying to get around the outside of McCubbin, who tosses him contemptuously onto the plastic. Christie, Styles, great hands. He gets his ribs tickled. But Hong Kong China still moving. Until there's obstruction. Crossing in the midfield. Herbert had somebody running interference. And Diego Ardao pointing ardently towards the touchline. They can tap this and send it out. And end the half. Yep, pretty obvious obstruction, Christy. Blocking the attempt to tackle on Herbert. And Uruguay want more points. They could have tapped the ball, sent it off the pitch, and headed to the sheds with a 14-point lead. They think there's more here for them. They believe that with Estadio Charrua united and roaring behind them, there are more points to be pilfered before the break. McCubbin down for Liechtenstein. Gonzalez burning through the middle, swatting aside Styles, who holds on. Lovely pickup from Facciolo. Ardao, arcing, Bautista Basso, Matteo Vinals for the corner, veering inside, and Facciolo's in! Uruguay weave a glorious tapestry through the heart of Hong Kong China, and they are running away with the trophy as things stand. Third try on the stroke of halftime. They backed themselves to get over. They opted to gamble and go for points rather than pragmatism. Yermo Liechtenstein, that trademark side foot action. You couldn't kick it any straighter. 21-0. Three converted tries to the good. Simple hands down the short side. Unleashes Vinales. Facciolo, nobody tracking him. Nobody quick enough to get near the flame here, destroyer. Ardao, Basso, Vinales. The names trip off the tongue. Names we're used to seeing in the upper echelons of Rugby Sevens. And Los Terros making a move to get back into the big time. They have been irrepressible in this opening seven minutes. And even the Kenyans are enjoying what they're seeing. 21-0 halftime in Uruguay's favour. Kong China's challenger title hopes dangling by a thread. 21 point gap to shot. And again, Uruguay 
bossing the airwaves. And that's been so vital to the amassing of this handsome lead as Ardao weaves and jinks back to the short side. Pacholo will tackle, but what an offload. Juan Gonzalez marauding. His pass is loose. Seized upon by Christie, who's caught high. And Hong Kong trying to go quickly with big Cal McCulloch. He's thrown it to Gonzalez, who was back 10. And Uruguay through Ardao. Recycle. Flung out the back to James McCubbin, who's got those long, powerful legs pumping. It's a chaotic old skirmish on the floor. And the upshot is a penalty to the host nation. Concern etched on the faces of the Hong Kong China players waiting in the wings. Whatever happens in the next five and a bit minutes, they're going to substantially boost their challenger standings tally of just eight points. At least 18 will be theirs. Having reached the final, Uruguay would move from 16 to 36 if they can get themselves home and dry. Inside, everybody. It's time to go off. Inside. Stand back on. Inside. Liechtenstein, another perfect, peerless Los Terros lineout. Gonzalez at first receiver. He's bashing through. McCubbin. Pick and jam. Basso. Dummying and driving and carrying half of Hong Kong China with him. McCubbin. Route one rugby. But it's profitable for Uruguay. They've got the muscle. They've got the brawn. Have they got the wheels out wide? Not quite. Gonzalez looping pass forwards. And a little bit too much on it for Pacholo. Still Hong Kong China yet to put a dent in that 21 nil half time scoreline. The possession has been so scant. They do win this line out. They've got to go from 80 plus. Kadu Lee and Styles. Oh, clever dummy. Dummy in the pirouette. Swallowed up by the blue jerseys. And he was caught high as well. So Christie momentarily halted. And Alain Ardoni of the Hong Kong Scottish Club can bring it back for the penalty. There you go, caught in a headlock by Baltita Basso. Little under four minutes remaining. It's by no means an insurmountable gap. But again, Uruguay dismantling Hong Kong China in the air. And Valentin Gri has got trouble in store. Dishes it on the inside to Tafer Naberi. He pops it up, but it's pilfered back. Stolen by Liam Herbert, who's making tracks down the tram lines. Nardoni pulls it back. Uruguay's blitz defense. Laying waste to Hong Kong China. The pass sends Ardao scrambling. And they'll go back for that scrum. And Diego Ardao has hurt his left hand in the process of wearing the shot. Styles ball dislodged. It's remarkable how a team can grow into a rugby sevens competition. Uruguay won from three in pool play. Lost pretty heavily to Germany. Lost at the death to Uganda, who'd had Adrian Casito red carded. They squeezed into the quarterfinals and then they found their straps late on day two. 
battering Portugal to reach the semis. A real ding-dong affair, low scoring, but highly engrossing with Chile. And they smited go. their nice. South American rivals please, please. Right by here. a single score to power into the final. And they can just about taste the tickle of champagne bubbles on their tongues. Ignacio Alvarez off the bench. Prepares to feed the scrum. Another try, surely. Would seal the cup for Los Terros. Alvarez through the legs. Penalty Uruguay. And Ardao issues the universal calm down signal. And Uruguay will take advantage of the scrum option, which again swallows up more precious seconds. Time running against Hong Kong China. Time running out for the only undefeated team thus far in the men's draw. Are they to fall at the final hurdle? It's loose for Alvarez, Mateo Vinals. Can Uruguay put the final to bed? Gri looking for the inside ball through the dummy instead. Basel goes in quickly to protect. Vinals, Echeverri, dummies. Looks like crossing there. No, says Gau Ricardo Santos, but he is going to award the penalty for holding on the floor. That did look like obstruction. Echeverri and Facciolo converging. In the end, Hong Kong China have the penalty anyway. Got to score three tries in under 90 seconds. Kick from Styles doesn't make much yardage. And they can't fuss around here. They've basically got to score three one-phase tries. Blin Phillips, the Welsh-born player, doesn't find his target with the dart. And Uruguay have the penalty. And surely now the cup is theirs. Ardao to finish it off. Hong Kong, China, not back 10. And Uruguay can enjoy these final seconds. And the scrum should see out the last remaining moments. Thank you so much. It's so rare that a rugby team of any hue or nationality can sit back in a final knowing their lead is unassailable. Knowing they can push the gamble button if they choose. Knowing that victory is soon at hand. The scrum is on roller skates. Alvarez! Finished in style! Uruguay champions! And how fitting that the glorious final flourish should be applied in scintillating style by Ignacio Alvarez. He bangs over the kick. And Uruguay shut Hong Kong China out. They do what no team has managed in this competition. They defeat Hong Kong China. The hometown heroes are champions in Montevideo. From a brutal pool to a testing knockout phase, Los Terros stand at the summit in their own backyard. And these are the scenes through which heroes are made, through which legends are formed, and lifelong passions for the game are stoked.